I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles and trials as well as the location of the data card in Jakku's Nima Outpost within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Freeplay. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to start off here with Steel Pecker Rodeo. And this one's kind of important because it actually has to do, it's required for another side mission on another planet. So I definitely recommend doing this one first. So there's going to be this bird flying around with a kyber brick, shoot it down, or you can even throw your lightsaber at it. That actually might be a little bit faster. Once you take down all of its health, you can then get the kyber brick that it drops for Steel Pecker Rodeo. Okay, so second we're going to get the Welcome to Nima Outpost kyber brick. It's going to be right here on the landing zone underneath this little ramp. So just destroy some of the Lego objects and go under there and get you the kyber brick for Welcome to Nima Outpost. And third, we're going to do Sandy Sprint. So in the middle of the desert here, there's going to be this X-Wing with a red force field with a kyber brick in it. And to open that force field, we're going to find four of these uh, pads, which you need to stand on within a certain time frame. And they're always behind like a rock Lego object. So once you reveal all those, stand on all those within the time frame, you can get the kyber brick for Sandy Sprint. All right, so next up, we're going to do Star Destroyer Scramble here on the left side of the map and it's going to be in, well, a Star Destroyer. So we're going to enter in through this engine, and you'll notice on the right side wall, there's going to be a whole bunch of platforms that we need to do some platforming on to reach this kyber brick. And so on the back side here, there's going to be some orange handles, which you can climb up. And once you get to the top, destroy some of these uh, Lego objects and pull down this handle, revealing a whole bunch of uh, moving platforms. So we're just going to jump on those. And then we're going to destroy, uh, there's going to be this target that we need to destroy. So we're going to shoot that with a blaster character. And that's going to give you this vine which you can swing across, climb up the ladder. And then there's going to be some more, uh, you know, moving platforms that you need to, well, platform across. And eventually you'll reach the cover brick for Star Destroyer Scramble. Okay, moving right along, we're going to get the data card for Nima Outpost and really all of Jakku since Tunul Village did not have one. Uh, so there's going to be this, it looks like what's left over of like an engine from a Star Destroyer, and we're just going to climb up and get inside of it, and then fall right down to get the data card for uh, Nima Outpost. And to the left, we're going to get the puzzle called Star Destroyed, and you'll notice this X-Wing here with a hole in the ground. We're just going to fall right in into this uh, these old remains of a Star Destroyer, and there's going to be a wall which we can destroy with a lightsaber character. So go ahead and do that, and get you the counter brick for Star Destroyed. Alright, so next up we're going to do Cliffhanger here, just to the north of the one we just got. You'll notice a cliffside with a bunch of LEGO objects along the wall. Destroy those with a blaster, or throw your lightsaber at it like I'm doing, and then switch to a grapple character like an astromech droid. Or a hero character, somebody like that, to grapple up and reach the kyber brick for Cliff Hanger. Alright, so just to the right of there, we're going to do Cracking Up. And this one's going to require us to switch to a scavenger character and use their Breaker Blaster ability to destroy the side of this ATAT. -AT. And to the left is going to be your kyber brick. It's also going to be an important part that we're going to need for a puzzle later on in this video, so keep that in mind. And then just to the north of there, we're going to get Wreckage Reward. And this one's going to require us to use a uh, force using character to move some of the nearby orange blocks into place, stack them on top of each other. You're going to need a total of four. Once we do that, we can reach up to this platform, and then there's going to be two more up here, which we can use to reach the very top platform and get the kyber brick for wreckage reward. There we go. All right, moving right along, we're going to do a desert drum here, just to the right. And uh, so this one is a little bit tricky at first, but actually it's really simple. All you have to do is walk behind it, and you can easily get the Kyber Brick for Desert Drum. So not too bad at all there. And after that, we're going to get Energize. And uh, so once again, we're going to have to use the Scavenger Breaker Blaster ability to shoot uh, a hole in the side of this wall and fall down here. And there's going to be a red force field. And we're going to have one character stand on the uh, switch and have another character go ahead and pull the next switch and you'll be able to reach the copper brick for Energize. And directly above Energize is going to be a Silver Scavenger. And uh, of course, anytime a puzzle has the word Silver in it, that means you're going to need to switch to a Villain character and use their grenade ability to destroy a Silver Lego object. I'm going to use the Emperor's Royal Guard, destroy that Silver Lego object, and get that copper brick for Silver Scavenger. Alright, next up is Desert Dangle, and this is another one of these crazy 
platforming ones and so you'll notice it here on the top left side of the screen that's where we're ultimately going to be trying to get and uh, but to get there we have to do a bunch of platforming so we're going to climb up here we have to uh, switch to a blaster character to shoot these moving targets there's going to be these blocks which you can push down I'm not totally sure what those are for uh, because they're pretty much completely optional for what we're going to be doing here um, so we're going to push this one down just for the heck of it and again we're going to have to shoot the targets on each of these moving platforms to get them to rotate so that you can actually reach the kyber brick for desert dangle all right moving right along we're going to do a salvage sharp shooting and it's going to be kind of in the middle of the desert here and you'll notice a you know cage with a kyber brick inside well if you look around you'll notice four targets the fourth one's going to be all the way down here to the left and once you shoot all four of those within a time limit you can then collect the kyber brick for salvage sharp shooting what a name. Alright, so moving to the uh, right side here, uh, we're going to get Golden Dune, and this is a very simple one. All you have to do is switch to a Bounty Hunter character and destroy the gold Lego object and get the Kyber Brick inside for Golden Dune. Alright, so now we're going to do down at the at, -AT and remember when I said that part was going to come into play later? Well, now it is. So there's going to be three uh, spots where we need to put these three Lego objects into place. The first one's going to be right in front of it, so that's very easy. And the other two, well, one's going to be where I mentioned earlier, up here on the north side of the map, inside this old AT-AT, which we destroyed the side of the wall with our breaker blaster. So we're going to take that and walk it all the way back over here to this broken down AT-AT. And then the last part that we need is going to be over here on the bottom side of the map in the, like, actual NEMA outpost, like, village area. You can see it here on the map at the very bottom. And it's kind of right in the middle of the village. We're just going to pick up this piece and take it all the way back, put it in the place. And so this is just kind of a time-consuming one because you have to go all around Nima Outpost. Once you do that, you can go inside the uh, at, at which is like kind of where Ray lives in the movie, push the switch, and get you the Kyber Brick or down at the at, -AT. Okay, so next up we're going to do Engine Explore here on the left side of the map, uh, kind of semi near the landing zone. And it's going to be this massive engine. All you have to do is walk up behind it and jump up and get you the Kyber Brick for Engine Explore. So very, very, very easy there. <laughs> um, so moving right along, we're going to move more towards the south side of the map into the market area. This is going to be gliding into the sunset, so switch to a scavenger character's glider ability and go off this ramp and get you the kyber brick for gliding into the sunset even though it's not even a sunset when you're playing this map <laughs> or this uh, planet um, so next up we're going to do tentative treasure this is going to be the first one when you reach this little city market area and all you have to do is destroy some lego objects inside this tent and that will allow you access to get this kyber brick for tentative treasure and then moving right along you're going to notice uh, I think there's a total of 10 of these blue markers on your map so I'd recommend walking all the way around this little market area to reveal all of the locations of these 10 uh, blue markers, which are actually going to be these big, uh, I don't know what you call them, like these big uh, jugs, I guess is what they're called, because the puzzle is called Jugs of the Junkyard. And uh, when I landed here, I already had two of them destroyed somehow, even though I definitely don't remember destroying them, so it's possible that you already destroyed at least a couple. Um, but uh, again, as long as you walk around the whole area of the map, that will reveal all of their locations. Some of them are kind of out of the way, as you can see here. There's one all the way up here, and there's going to be another one all the way over here. And once you destroy all ten, you will get the cover brick for Jugs of the Junkyard. Alright, so next up, we're going to go to the top left side here for Portion Control. And so we're going to have to do some Jedi Mind Tricks, or in this case, we're going to do some Sith Mind Tricks. And uh, Mind Trick one of these enemies here and get them to open the force field for you, and then destroy the gold Lego object with a bounty hunter character. That's going to cause this creature to come in uh, and uh, reveal the Kyber Brick for portion control. And I will give your comment a heart if you can tell me the name of that creature in the comments. Um, but uh, anyway, moving right along, we're going to do Uncar Plugged. And so over here, we're going to switch to a protocol droid character and uh, take control of this protocol droid up here. Pull the switch. That's going to lower the force field, giving you access to Uncar Plugged. And uh, there we go, so not too bad there. And on the south side of the map, we're going to do Plutt's Hut. This is where uh, Plutt, uh, you know, gives off his portions. And so all you have to do is walk to the back side where there's this window and use the force to push the switch. That's going to lower the force field. Then you can walk inside and get that kyber brick for Plutt's. 
hut. So all you need there is a force using character. And just to the north of there, we're going to get uh, Trough Luck. And so you're going to notice this water here. Switch to a blaster character to shoot the target in the water. And that's going to open up this cage, giving you the Kuiper Brick for Trough Luck. And we are almost done here. So moving along, we're going to do Highest Post in the Outpost. It's going to be smack dab in the middle of Nima Outpost's little market area. And so we're going to move one of these orange blocks into place with a force using character and from there we're just going to jump up and grapple up with the grapple character to get to the highest post and the outpost then up here on the top right side of the map we're going to get down and outpost uh, so kind of a similar name for this one so there's going to be four pads that we need to step on all at the same time except there's going to be i think three of these orange lego objects we can, which we can move around with a force using character and so we're just going to move those around and have uh, three of them be stepped on then the last one we can just step on ourselves and that's going to open up the cage for down and outpost and then next up we're going to do the trial called speeder spruce up this one's kind of easy to miss because this is going to be over by that ATAT -AT where you had to bring those three objects over here and behind it you have to destroy some nearby lego objects to rebuild this speeder and from there that will unlock this trial so normally this trial is not unlocked until you rebuild this speeder and from there, we're going to activate the trial, and it's going to be a race where we need to go through all 23 of these little green checkpoints, whatever you want to call them, within 80 second uh, time frame to get the gold, because we do need to get the gold ranking in order to get the Kyber Brick for this trial. And I didn't find it to be too hard, you know, basically just hold the A button or the X button, whatever console you're playing on, to make sure you're boosting the whole time, go through all the green zones, and there we go, we completed the trial there and then for the last puzzle it's going to be called Kanja Club Cash and this one's only going to unlock after you do one of the side missions after completing one of the side missions this silver lego object is going to be out here in the open switch to a villain character throw a grenade on it and destroy it and get you the kyber brick for Kanja Club Cash now if you need help with that side mission you can consult my Nima Outpost side missions guide here on the channel but other than that, guys, that's going to be all the puzzles, trials, as well as the location of the data card in NEMA Outpost. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.